You're just going to try to go after that rat bastard, aren't you? Yeah, sure, go ahead. This camera won't stay focused. I might still use the video. I don't know. Kind of running low on options here. Anyway, I still want to do an update on uh, the LED headlight video. I'm still testing lights, see what I can do. Uh, got a couple things going on over here on the table. And it's a little dark. So let me get the flashlight. So update on all kind of stuff. Got a battery power weed eater that I've been working on the battery for. Yeah, it's I'm trying to top off the charge on that battery now. I think I still have to replace a couple more cells. Maybe I should have started with that one. It's in a little better shape. But anyway. Um, we have here. That's pretty bright right in the middle. That is one of the lights that I bought from China off eBay. Um, I forget the wattage and we have no focus. But anyway, I'm going to run it off a 12 volt battery. I also have a 50 watt spotlight from uh, Philips that we're going to compare it to. And the other light that I bought from eBay, what I've done here, I took the actual LED out. I had to take a grinder, see if I can show you this, and cut the plastic around the edge to figure out how to take this thing apart. Anyway, all the circuitry inside is gone. I just have the, the LED chip itself, and I'm going to hook it straight up to an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack for an RC truck. Um, comes up to a little over 9 volts when it's actually fully charged, and it's fully charged right now. Um, if I run that straight into this LED chip, um, I have a bigger heatsink on it. It's a computer CPU heatsink. Um, it gets much hotter than it did originally, but it's not overheating. Um, this seems like the perfect voltage. Um, I have to measure again to see how much wattage it's pulling, but let me let me hook this up. I'm gonna have to set you down for a second. I'll hook it up and we'll start comparing stuff to see what's what. I'm just shoving wires into connector. Okay. That is that. Back over there. I have a shower curtain. Um, I'm actually going to be using that for a rear projection screen. This is with a wire in front of the light bulb. Not a good scenario. That's a little better. All right. That lens is from a different light. Uh, not the lens, there's no lens, it's just a reflector. But that does a, a pretty good job of lighting things up. Like I said, eventually it does get, does get kind of hot. Uh, I still have the flashlight on, let me turn that off. Not that it makes any difference. Can you even tell when I turn that on? Yeah, a little. Barely. Alright, so that does pretty well. Let me unplug it. With the camera in the same spot, this is the 50 watt halogen light. This is an actual halogen light, so we'll see what it does. Right. There's a lot of light that shines back through the reflector, and it gets hot pretty freaking quickly. And this is the LED original from China, the 
if I can get a connection. Battery terminal is pretty rusty. Okay. And it stays nice and cool. But just not quite bright enough for what I want to do. Switch back to the modified LED. That one is the pure white. Uh -oh. um, I don't know how long it'll run on this battery pack. Um, from what I've measured, it should run for about three hours, but I'm not sure. So. Uh, I'm thinking with two of these battery packs, <coughs> I could actually have both this light and the one that's in here. Jeez, that is really bright. Um, running together. I have it run for about two hours, maybe three, but we'll see. <laughs> 